pair of authors are out with a new book and helping your uh, furry friends around as long as possible. Tina, standing by with all the details. Hi, T. Hi. On Zoom, we got uh, Dr. Karen Shaw Becker and Rodney Habib joining us, the co authors of The Forever Dog Surprising New Science to Help Your Canine Companion Live Younger, Healthier, and Longer. Hi, you two. Hi. Hi. How are you? All right, Dr. Uh, Becker, you're, you said you're in Arizona, and Rodney, you're in Nova Scotia. Well, so I am yes. all the way up here. Up oh, north. let me tell you something about Rodney. Influential pet health leader, filmmaker, multi award winning blogger, public speaker, talks about animals all over the world. And Dr. Becker, you have a place that uh, you concentrate on more smaller animals. Is that correct? That's right. Yes, okay. I, I am a small animal clinician, so I focus on dogs, cats, and I also see exotics. Yes. Okay, very good. So you co-wrote this book, and did you discover anything new that we could do as regular pet owners to help our lovely furry uh, family members? Well, there's a whole bunch of tips, of course, that are out there. And on this journey, we learned a lot, Tina. I think one of the biggest things for me is stress and how, uh, you know, household chemical stress can really play a role uh, when it comes to longevity in our pets and keeping our homes clean, chemical free, if possible, can play a huge role in improving the health span of our pets. So you're talking about what regular cleaning solutions that we do. They are inhaling all these things. Absolutely. Their... I, I know today, especially, you know, everyone wants a clean home. We're using a lot of products within our home. And now researchers are finding that these chemical cleaners are actually building up in the system of our pets. Okay. So it's never been more important today to kind of check what, what you know, what sort of chemicals you're using in your home, scented products, uh, air fresheners, candles, things that give off VOCs, volatile organic compounds, very important to be aware of. All right, Dr. Becker, what else can we expect from this book? Well, I tell you, it's pretty fascinating. We tracked the oldest dogs in the world, some of them 30 years old. Wow. And then we found out what those owners, I know, I know. Well, that's impossible. So we, wow. I know it. We thought so too. We, we absolutely were shocked. And so Rodney spent a lot of time tracking those dogs down. Then we interviewed the owners and we found out what they did and didn't do to achieve this unbelievable success. And then we took that information to the top longevity researchers, scientists, geneticists, and we had these folks reverse engineer these old dogs. And certainly stress, meaning both chemical stress, environmental okay. stress, but also emotional and mental stress mm. and physical stress, let's say from being overweight, all of those things factor into a dog's longevity, as does, of course, exercise and nutrition. Oh, sounds like you're talking about us humans here, right? <laughs> yeah. Literally, yes. In okay. fact, we say we say health travels up the leash because dogs oh, like and that. their humans share the same environment. And really, yeah. we end up with many of the same diseases and degenerative conditions. Okay, very good. And how, uh, how could people get your book, Rodney? Well, you, foreverdog.com. I know when it first came out a week ago, it sold out in 90 seconds. But good news, our wow. publisher tells us that it's, uh, it should be back okay. in stock right now all over That's the world. That's good. That's good. Congratulations to you. And I'm sure that you'll help a lot of pet owners there. We all love our animals around here. The Forever Dog, Karen Shaw Becker and Rodney Habib, thank you so much for joining us today.